Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Detola, and I'd like to welcome you to another installment of the Monet Clinician Spotlight. We are in Salt Lake City today with Dr. Brian Black, spending a little time with him, talking to him about his Monet Curing Laser. Brian, thanks so much for spending some time with us today. Hey, happy to be here. So, it's a beautiful office, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, I, I loved walking around, and uh, I, I love everything about the office, so congrats on really doing that well. Thanks, um, when you were first introduced to the Monet Curing Laser, do you remember what characteristic or what aspect of it really kind of intrigued you it was that fast cure that, that one second really cure one second cure. did you were you like me did you have an initial this is too good to be true oh, yeah. how can this work yeah i've done the three second cure but the one second cure is totally different exactly so yeah so the three second cure actually existed in dentistry from another company but you had to use their composite and that to me as somebody who got out of school with a 40 second cure yeah. sounded too good to be true and then one second cure so did you find yourself squirting composite on a countertop and right. then checking it just to right. make sure it worked composite on all the walls yeah. yeah well that's one of the things it's got that that collimated beam so unlike um, an led curing light where it loses power as you move mm -hmm. farther away from the tooth were you like six or eight feet away from the wall when you did oh, yeah. it? Yeah, we, we got up to 12 feet. Uh, 12 feet away. <laughs> yeah. So it's good to know you can do that even though you're never going to have to. Yeah. But you're probably never going to need more than eight millimeters. But still, it's good to know you can go 12 if you need. When it comes to direct composites, are, are you more of a, a bulk fill guy or are you more of a two millimeter increment guy? Tip, uh, I'd say about 50-50. About 50-50? And you, um, you have the confidence now from testing it out of the mouth that when you cure it. So tell me about that. Are you doing um, like a one second cure on the buckle? I mean, on the occlusal and the buckle and the lingual? What's your yeah, procedure? Yeah, we'll do one second occlusal, take off the ring, open up the band, occlusal, buckle, lingual. So it's a couple of one second cures. Right. I'm sure, we could do the one second and leave it at that, but. But you know, I mean, yeah. even when we had. 20 second curing lights. We were all doing it for two or three times cure, more of that cure, cure. just to be safe. Yeah. And so, yeah, they're, you know, under curing obviously is a bigger problem than over curing. So, but I'd rather spend three one second cures than three like 20 And the concern cures. of over cure is the heat, but with the one second cure, you just don't get that. Yeah, that's yeah. true because you've got that pause in between it. And yeah. so you, you can't do it. And so oh, that's one of the reasons why, you know, the light went from three seconds to one second. Yeah. Is, is because of that that possibility because we knew Dennis <laughs> wouldn't yep. trust it and which is cure 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 yep. um, I know you do a lot of all ceramic crowns like uh, lithium disilicate and zirconia do you use dual cure resin cements and are you using the Monet curing laser for those crowns yes I do and yeah, what I have you noticed as you've used those it yeah. sets fast that one second cure will set that cement and so that's why that attenuator that comes with it, that cuts the power by 50%. Yeah. So yeah. it makes it easier to clean up once you have that attenuator on? It makes a, an easier cleanup because it's in the gel state when you go to clean it up. But I like the idea of having that power because we know that it's difficult for traditional lights to get through, especially right. zirconia and lithium disilicate. And I, I'd like to know that my dual cure cement is a, at least relieving some light, receiving some light. So the test out. that I have done is if I'm putting an abutment and a crown in place, cementing the crown in place over the abutment, I'll put some composite over the abutment, put the crown on, push it on, cure it, then take the crown off. And I want to see how hard that oh, that's composite interesting. is underneath the crown and it sucks. That's great. That's a good real world test for right. that to see if it actually will get through that material and, and it gets right through it, yeah oh that's yeah that's really nice that's a good way for dentists to be able to kind of test it in their own mm -hmm. office if they're if they have a demo of the monet curing laser and they want to test it and make sure so speaking about that um in terms of curing the composite and making sure it's hard enough i know that you like to use the monet curing laser when you're doing buildups tell me a little bit about that experience using the monet to cure say a buildup material prior to prepping it than with using your led light so the LED light, same thing, we're over curing. So typically it's an endo tooth, and so you're not worried about that heat up. But if we're doing the three second cure or five second cure on an LED light, we're still curing about 15, 20 seconds. Then you go to prep it and you get in that deep margin and you just slide it right through the buildup material. Where with the Monet, with that one second cure, again, you're doing it two or three times. Sure. But once you cut into that, I've noticed a big difference in that. Yeah, so that's great. So here are the manufacturers of build-up materials trying to make these materials as hard as possible so it feels like dentin. But if it, to your point, if it's not cured all the way, it's never going to yeah. feel like dentin. It's going to be too soft. You're going to fall right into no, it. No, that's been a big deal. You know, you get a deep margin on the distal of number three or something yeah. like that. 
Yeah, there's just nothing like worse. Confidence to cut into it. Have you noticed that you're able to get the head of the Monet back to like second molars to the yeah. distal of second molars? I mean, it's a very flat design, so you don't have any curves or anything. Right. Well, we're sitting in your reception area right now, and right over your right shoulder, I can see a mini reception area for children. So obviously, you see some pedo patients. Tell me about using the Monet curing laser with pedo patients. Uh, biggest thing I notice is you have that wiggly kid. You have stuff already all over the mouth. Just being able to start the cure from outside of the mouth. Just do a one second cure outside of the mouth, get that initial attack. And then from there you go in and you can do the final cure. But just that very, or that um, yeah. the ability to do things differently. Especially with them, time is of the essence oh, yeah. with kids. You might have one or two seconds till they swallow or the tongue comes up and, yeah, and exactly. everything gets wet. So. On adults, it's a convenience, but on kids, it could be like the success of the rest. Well, and a sealant as well, on a right? Or something like that. Exactly. Yeah, you don't know how much time yeah. you're going to get there. You want to get yeah. in. So to your point, yeah, as you're, you know, from curing it six feet away, that if the yeah. kid could open far enough, you could cure it from yeah. three feet away and have it completely cured. Yeah, it works. So based on your experience with the Monet curing laser, is this something that you would recommend to a colleague if you guys were talking about this? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I find myself wanting it more and more. When I have the LED option versus the Monet, I'm going for the Monet. Oh, interesting. So if like somebody, let's say your assistant's doing sealants, or your hygienist's doing sealants, and they have the Monet, yeah. and your assistant hands you the LED, you're thinking, I wish it was the Monet. Yeah. That's yeah. good. You know, it gets in your hand, like, ah. Oh. Right. <laughs> Where's that one second yep. cure that I had before? And just the power of a laser. Yeah. It's just fun to use lasers. Do you, have you ever bragged to one of your patients? About the about the laser and the difference between what you're doing. I'm not. All right. Well, you only have one second to brag anyway, so it's not <laughs> like you know you have the time like doing a yeah. full arch scan or something like that. Well, Brian, thank you for taking some time to sit down with us yeah, and yeah, share your welcome. Monet experience. Really appreciate it. Yeah.